uh, today's message and uh, uh, with uh, the portion where we stopped last week. So last week, last Sunday, we have been discussing from book of Romans chapter 8, right? Chapter 8 verses. Oh, it's there? Okay. So what is the theme and what is the title? Yeah, from groaning to glory. Nyarakatil nana mahatotileke karahnomse mahimatak urvaliya nyarakatil nana potil nanum uru mahatotil nana potileke deo namale kundu vogana steps in a kursnam lechindi candidate ai. And how God is leading us into different steps and different, um, I mean, uh, uh, portions that we have been discussing from that. Like uh, the next thing says that uh, the next slide is saying that you know there are uh, uh, there are many groups of people they that they are groaning for glory because I was saying you that you know when the people of God are groaning in this world even we are not only groaning in this world and we are not only uh, waiting for something but all the creatures are waiting for the coming of Jesus Christ Amen. And all the creations are groaning in this world, in the universe. And also the believers are groaning. And the Holy Spirit also is groaning according to these verses. And I told you that, you know, the groaning of a person. In a worldly sense, we understand groaning is a negative term. But at the same time, spiritually talking, groaning is a positive term. That means when, believe, when the believers are groaning, when the believers are going through suffering, and I said that we cannot separate suffering from the glory. When, if you are looking forward for the glory of God to be revealed in your life, in your life, you will have to have the suffering in your life. Means that that's the reason we cannot separate the suffering from the glory. And all the people, and also there is a progressing steps of the groaning to glory. I'm just recollecting all those points. And I, I know that you remember all these things, but I, mean, I have, I, I know that you have all these things and written in your notebook or in your phone, somewhere in your device. At the same time, just recollecting all those points. I mean, what are the, what are the progressing steps of the groaning to glory? I mean, there is an origin for the groaning. There is groaning. There is a suffering. There, is, there are downfalls, but at the same time, there is a kingdom of God. That means the experience of the kingdom of God. What are there in the experience of the kingdom of God? We have righteousness, we have peace, we have joy in the Holy Spirit. And we understand that the sufferings that we are having today is a temporary suffering. Temporary suffering, and we will overcome every suffering of this world. I am sure that I mean, even though you know we are believers, as we heard today from the Psalm number 91, that we have many problems in this world, right? We have many suffering in this world. We have sickness in this world. There would be many reasons for the sufferings. But same thing, we have to understand that even though we are going through the suffering in this world, I mean, we are overcoming we are overcoming every moment of our life with the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So we will overcome. We will overcome the sufferings that we are going through I mean, in this world. And we are overcoming and we will be entering into the glory one day. Hallelujah. The believers, the children of God, they are not focusing on the sufferings of this world. But we are focusing always towards the glory of God, which is going to be revealed upon every believer. Hallelujah. And remember, the suffering and the glory are inseparable. Amen. So next one. And we have been discussing and how the earth is groaning today. The how the earth was groaning today. You know, I talked about uh, when different seven states, I mean, stages of earth through the Bible history. You know, the age, the, 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 the earth is going through different situations, you know, from, from the beginning till the end. That means even today also, the earth is going uh, through a difficult situation. You now, everything which is on the earth or on the, in the universe, everything is dying. You know, I was uh, uh, saying about um, uh, the earthquake which is happening in different places last week. 
and uh, this week already happened in Syria and uh, Turkey. You know, we prayed for those people, those who were going through the struggles. Okay, you know, when we are thinking about all those things, the disasters which is happening here on this earth, eh? the natural calamities which is happening on the earth, understand whatever we have today and whatever we are enjoying today, every thing will perish one day and it's dying the earth is dying you know earth is becoming decayed you know we understand from the i mean romans chapter 8 that there are some terms are used for that and it is going to be i mean i mean end and it is going to die the earth is going to die and next one and again we saw that i mean there there are there are different i mean types that we understand the earth is groaning at the same time we understand it's only because of the sin of the man okay because of the sin of the man manushya vargathinte paavathinte kaaranathal aanu endu ennade ee bhoomi inna groan cheyidu irikkana nyarangi kondirikkana ee prashnangal akku ivide undai kondirikkana what is the reason for that what is the reason for that because of the sin of man you know when god was uh, making or god was creating the earth and god was creating all the universe uh, and all the things on the in the in the universe when that pain was not there there was no suffering you know when god created adam and eve there was no pain there was no suffering everything was provided for adam and eve in the garden of eden and they were able to enjoy all the things there and they were able to enjoy the presence of god also directly coming down from heaven and they were enjoying the presence of god but when they did sin everything lost they lost the glory they lost uh, the presence of god that uh, they lost uh, that fellowship and communion with god and they lost everything and earth also was cursed hallelujah we understand clearly that after the sin of man after the fall of man the earth was cursed earth became cursed earth and they were supposed to eat the food eat the things i mean out of the pain out of the pain and they were i mean having the child birth pain and they were having all kinds of suffering of this world only because of the sin of the human kind I mean and that's what we were discussing and again the next one the next one yeah and we saw that the extremity of the present creation the extremity of the present creation it is suffering there death is there pain is there bondage is there decay is there and the glory i mean groaning creation will become glorious creation and again we see that uh, in second peter chapter 3 verses 7 uh, 10 and 11 and 12 we are reading that what is going to happen for this present earth i mean we will be reading that portion maybe at the end of our message today you know what is going to happen for the for the earth at last you know the other day uh, when uh, i was speaking to one person he was asking me um, uh, uh, pastor you are saying that okay everything is written in the in the in the in the bible I mean, what are the things written about uh, the earth you know you know many things are happening today and many disasters are happening today many natural uh, calamities are happening today and what is recorded in the bible about the countries and what is recorded in the bible about the calamities which is happening today then i said everything is written there and bible very clearly says this is going to happen at the end time le andhya naalgal endu sambhavikkum war will be there no war will be there fighting the nations are fighting and the calamities are there all the earthquake is there the fire is there everything is happening the shooting is there everything is there only because of it is written in the bible that this is going to happen at the end of this world but we are understanding from these things the believers of god we clearly understand that our God's coming, our Lord's coming is at hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Lord's coming is at hand. I mean, let anything happen in this world. I mean, we are preparing ourselves for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The people of God, the believers are always preparing themselves for the second coming of Jesus Christ. I mean, yesterday I heard about uh, one revival which is happening in Kendaki. Kendaki, uh, as, what is it, Asbury, uh, a Baptist uh, Bible seminary. You know, there were few students, they were gathering there for worshipping in a Baptist seminary. They just came there inside 
and uh, they started that on, on friday they started that meeting still now it is happening there nobody want to go away from there let me remind you one thing that all those students and now all the cars are going there all the people from outside also they are going there to see what is happening there the people those who gathered there on on friday you know those people are coming inside the church and they are crying they are repenting and they are accepting jesus and they are worshiping god they are singing songs and they are i mean listening the word of god and the people those who were gathered there they are sharing something i mean from their i mean holy spirit and they are saying that okay this is going to happen for the world hallelujah you now those people are still there they are worshiping god repenting and they are worshiping and, and and preaching they are doing anything they are like you know they don't want go back to their home still the revival is happening in our country in our country in kendeki you know we have to pray for all those people those who are revived in there and we also need to that revival right hallelujah nammal endiyanam namakku unarva avashyamille kendeki ullavarku mathra madhiyo unarva പോര കേട്ടോ നമുക്ക് എല്ലാം ഈ ഉണർവ് ഉണ്ടാകണം ഹാലലൂയ്യ നമ്മൾ ഇതൊക്കെ പറയുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിലും ഉണ്ടല്ലോ നമ്മുടെ അകത്ത് പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിന്റെ പ്രവൃത്തി വെളിപ്പെട്ടാൽ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും നമുക്ക് ഒരു ഉണർവ് ഉണ്ടാകും ഒരു റിവൈവൽ നമ്മുടെ അകത്ത് ഉണ്ടാകണം ഹാലലൂയ്യ ഹാലലൂയ്യ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് മൈ പ്രയർ വെൻ ഐ വാസ് ഹെറിങ് ദാറ്റ് വെൻ ഐ വാസ് ഗെറിങ് ദാറ്റ് ന്യൂസ് എസ്റ്റർഡേ ഐ വാസ് ഓൾസോ പ്രേയിങ് അലോഡ് റിവൈവ് അവർ ചർച്ച് ഓൾസോ ലോഡ് ദാറ്റ് റിവൈവൽ send that revival on elc oh lord i prayed really i prayed yesterday i shared with my family lord lord fill us with your power fill us with the power of the holy spirit of god we don't want to I mean, do like this oh lord i mean again and again simply coming ritualistic worship and all those things leave all these things and and worship god in truth and spirit let's leave all the richest things and let us ask to the lord oh lord i need a revival in my family i read pura vasandara arabala vasandara arabala vasia i need a revival in my personal life oh lord i need a revival in my church of father hallelujah Ura bala vasandara ara bala bauda ara basia Ura bala bauda ara gaza shandara ara bala bauda ara basia Oh in the mighty name of Jesus Yeshu mena tigara mula namatil Na bal kalam i janatir mani yan prathikinno Udabal prauda ara gaza shandara ara bala bauda ara bala basia Udabal bauda ara gasi ara bala vasandara There should be happening a repentance in the midst of the people Hallelujah 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 amen 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 hallelujah let me tell you one thing when the when the people of god are yielding themselves at the presence of god if uh, for the holy spirit hallelujah i personally believe that the holy spirit will lead you the holy holy spirit will help you the holy spirit will lead you into a real worship Hallelujah 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 Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Thank you Lord How many of you want to really worship today Really worship today Make clap your hands together Hallelujah Put your hands together and worship God Hallelujah this morning Thank you Jesus Hallelujah Let us pray oh God and fill the people with the power of the Holy Spirit Hallelujah Oh we we worship your master we worship your master we worship your master oh hallelujah it is not only the kendeki people that god is revived i mean but we are also going to be revived from the presence of god this morning tudara bala bala bashandara ara bala baudara basiya tirara bala 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 baudara gada shandare ara bala baudara gasiya in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus udara bala basiya ara bala basandare ara bala udara gasiya i don't know how god is leading me into this position into this some direction this morning i understand in my spirit hallelujah ana krida etra etra vedana yodu kudiyana na balkalil parayunathu ketto നമ്മുടെ റിച്വലിസ്റ്റിക് ആയിട്ടുള്ളതായിരിക്കുന്ന ആരാധനകളെ മാറ്റിവെക്കാൻ സമയമായി 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Or spiritual worship, or spiritual worship. I mean, worshiping in spirit. I mean, that should come inside the church of God. I mean, then only. I mean, there will be seeing the presence of God in our midst. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Hallelujah. We praise the name of God. We praise the name of God. We praise the name of God. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know how many of you are preparing yourself for the second coming of Jesus Christ. I don't know why I'm speaking all these things. But in my heart, I don't know how many of you are listening to me. I don't know how many of you are listening to me. I don't know how many of you are listening to me. I don't know how many of you are listening to me. How many of you are preparing yourself for the second coming of Jesus Christ? Our people... You know, when, when I say that uh, our Jesus is standing there at the door, we are still sta sitting there. We are not excited for that. We are not excited for that about the second coming of Jesus. But this morning, the Spirit of the Lord was encouraging me. The Spirit of the Lord is encouraging every person. When you are listening about the second coming of Jesus Christ, your heart must burn. And your, and your heart must say that, okay, oh Lord, come Jesus. Oh, come Jesus, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Kartave Varaname. Nangal ready aga, nangal ready aga. Travar ka prati kya sadikyum. Baki yon allang vittari gato. Iloga tila, namal karnan na bhoolan dashi chupoga na gato. Nangal karnan na nala karnan tila. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But only Jesus Christ will be there forever and ever. So wait for him. Prepare yourself for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Let's also be caught up in the rapture of the New Testament church with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let us pray for that. Prepare ourselves in the presence of God. So I was talking about in the, in the last Sunday I was talking about the, from, from groaning to glory and we saw many other things and we saw that in second peter chapter 3 verses 7 to 12 we saw that what is going to happen on the earth in the coming days and also in second peter chapter 3 verse 13 and revelation chapter 2 verses 1 to 15 we saw that when there will be a new heaven and a new earth there will be a new heaven and a new earth we are waiting for that when we are not the people of this present world we are the strangers today. We are the strangers today. And we are waiting for the new heaven and new earth to come. And we will be there forever and ever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was supposed to uh, start with today for about the believers groaning. But uh, I mean, I will be talking about that maybe in the last uh, point. And today I would like to speak about the Holy Spirit, um, a groan, the groaning of the Holy Spirit from uh, I mean, Romans chapter 8. And it is there, the, the, the next, next word, next word. Yes, the Holy Spirit is groaning. Let's read that verse. Maybe, you know, Romans chapter 8, verse 26 and 27. You know, why the whole creation is groaning today? And why the Holy Spirit is groaning today? Only for you and me. You know, they are not expecting anything. They are not expecting anything. You know, the animals are not expecting anything. Huh? The, 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 the things, the, the, the material things, they are not expecting anything in future, in future. But we are expecting something. But the Holy Spirit is helping us. Amen. The Holy Spirit is helping us. And all the creations are groaning to see, to see that the, the glory of God is revealed on the people of God. Well, read that verse maybe. Romans chapter 8, verses 26 and 27. Yeah. Ah. 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 Mm. Okay. Atmanan dhani, atmanavu nambada belahina dhikke tuna nilkunnu. Vendu pole prathik kenda dhen dhanda naam arayun nilililu. Atmanavu dhani ucchirich kuda atanyarakkangal al namukku vendi 
പക്ഷപാതം ചെയ്യുന്നു എന്നാൽ ആത്മാവ് വിശുദ്ധന്മാർക്ക് വേണ്ടി ദൈവഹിതപ്രകാരം പക്ഷപാതം ചെയ്യുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ആത്മാവിൻ്റെ ചിന്ത ഇന്ന് തന്നെ ഹൃദയത്തെ പരിശോധന ചെയ്യുന്നവൻ അറിയുന്നു You know what is there? We are reading that the Holy Spirit is always doing its ministry that is towards the people of God. That is, they are groaning and they are helping. The Holy Spirit is helping the believers. I mean, we know that uh, there are many things that the Holy Spirit is doing. You know, there are many other things that the Holy Spirit is doing like, uh, you know, I mean, the Holy Spirit is leading the people. I mean, the Holy Spirit is guiding the people and the Holy Spirit is guiding the, uh, the people to the salvation. And also uh, the Holy Spirit is, uh, I mean, making conviction about, uh, conviction about sin, righteousness and judgment. Pabathe kurichum, nidhiya kurichum, nyayavidhiya kurichum indi yunnu. Odam varithu nenda. Parishutatmava. Okay. So there are different kinds of roles in the Bible for the Holy Spirit. And, and, and the Holy Spirit is doing all those works. At the same time, here in this uh, I mean, chapter 8, we are reading that the Holy Spirit is always, I mean, always ministering unto the believers that the Holy Spirit is always, I mean, groaning with us. The Holy Spirit is groaning with us. Namodapa Vendiyanu. Parishutatmava. And he helps us in our weakness because we do not know how to pray. But the Holy Spirit is interceding for us with groaning because we do not know I mean, what to pray and how to pray. You know, we are the people always praying in the presence of God. But the Bible very clearly says that sometimes we do not know what to pray. Sometimes we do not know how to pray. But the Holy Spirit, if you are guided by the Holy Spirit, when you are sitting for the prayer meeting, I mean, the Holy Spirit will guide you what to pray and what to, I mean, how to pray. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, 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 we do not know, I mean, uh, for, for what matter that we should pray. You know, if you are uh, sharing something, we'll be praying for that. At the same time, sitting in the presence of God for, for, a, for, a, for a personal prayer. Okay, when you are sitting for a personal prayer, you, know, you, you may not be knowing that, okay, what to pray and how to pray. Simply sitting there and saying something and we are asking something and God uh, 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 may not be giving that. And we are not seeking for the will of God to know and we, we are not ready to I mean, know the will of God and pray. Sometimes, you know, just like uh, the, the children when they are going to their father and asking something which is harmful for them. You know, you know the, the, the small children, small kids, I mean, sometimes they are going to the father or mother and they are asking, oh, I need that and I need, this, I need that uh, knife. Okay, I need that knife and I, I, or I, I need that fire. Okay, and uh, I mean, the mother or the, or the father will say, no, 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 it's not good for you. It's not good for you. It's not suitable for you. You cannot take that. I mean, it's a dangerous thing. It's a harmful thing. Don't take that. I mean, but at the same time, the, the, the child will be, Again and again asking, oh, give me father, give me papa, give me mommy, give me, give me, give me. Father will say, no, Mone, no, uh, Mole, I mean, I cannot give you that because that's a, that's a thing I mean, which is harmful for you. I mean, sometimes, because the reason is the child doesn't know what is good and bad. The child doesn't know what is good and bad, but at the same time, the father knows. At the same time, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, uh, when uh, the children are asking something uh, to the father, there are some mothers. Amma mark and don't they? soft corner on the lay. Makulu on the number of Jodi Kiana, other than the other than the Parembo, Apamanilla and the Tilda, no Rembo, Amma and the Kodateracha. Kodateracha, please give it. And there are, why they are saying that? They have a compassion to their child. Okay, the same thing is happening here also. Sometimes, you know, when we are asking something to Father God, I mean, God is saying that, okay, I cannot give you. And the Holy Spirit will help us. Mone, pray in this way. Pray in this way. You do not know how to pray. You do not know, I mean, I mean what to pray for, but I will help you. I will encourage you. I will, I mean, try to help you. And I will intercede for you. What is that? It is written there. I mean, we do not know how to pray. But he helps in our weakness. I mean, Holy Spirit is groaning with us. And helps us to know the will of God. And that, that is what we are reading in 1 John chapter 5 verse 14. Read that verse maybe. 1 John uh, chapter, chapter, I mean, uh, uh, four verse, uh, 5 verse 14. Yeah. 
Ah, first John chapter 5 verse 14. Ah. Ah. If you ask anything according to his will, he will give us. But many a times what we are doing, huh? we don't want to know what is the will of God. Simply we are asking. There is nothing wrong. If you ask also, but you will not get it. Only thing is you will not get it. Huh? Sometimes you are asking, 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 oh Lord, give me a 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 oh Lord. God says, no, no, I cannot give you. I cannot give you. Then sometimes... The Holy Spirit will help you. The Holy Spirit will intercede you. And the Holy Spirit will, I mean, help you in your weakness. And the Holy Spirit will say, okay, this is the thing. This is the thing that you have to pray. You know, knowing the will of God is an important thing in a believer's life. Hallelujah. When we are praying for all things, but we do not know what is the will of God. But knowing the will of God, I believe that the people of God, really, the person who is always yielded for the Holy Spirit and the person who is always uh, yielded for the presence of God, that person will know the will of God. The Spirit of the Lord will tell you and this is the will of God. Don't pray for that thing and pray for this thing because this is the will of God. Hallelujah. Sometimes we, when we are in confusion, when we are in confusion, sit in the presence of God. I mean, ask for the help of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will tell you what is the will of God. Hallelujah. You know, many a times we do not know what is the will of God and we are just praying, 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 praying. But the Holy Spirit is saying that, I mean, if God is revealing you, I mean, through the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will tell you, this is the will of God. Ask this and pray to the Lord, I mean, for this thing. I mean, so that's the reason, stick we are reading there that Atma Vatanne Uchirichu Kuda Tanyarakangala Namukwendi Pachavadam Chayuno. The Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groaning to deep for words. That means without words. Nyaraka Matra Ulu. No. Namada Agatha Namukhe. The Malarta Pari Uli Porangitu. Eda. Eh? Or Uli Porangitu. Eda. Chalagaring Kutta Namada Prati Kimere. Eh? Chalasameta. Parishita Namading a Porang. Namadim is some Sarikin. What else? Some Sarikin. Pasal nama kita ayam ulil itu apa? Eh, eh, orang ucirik cikuda, tan nyerak kengal ala tu baranyal, nyerak kem matra ulu, agat ta, nama kita feelium. I don't know how many of you are feeling that the groaning of the Holy Spirit in your heart. Man, Hallelujah. Sometimes we will see that, and we will have that, and we will know that. I mean, the, the Holy Spirit is still groaning in my heart and to telling me that this is the will of God. This is the will of God. Don't do that. Men, then the Holy Spirit tell you that don't do that, don't go for that, I mean, don't I mean, go after those things, I mean, when this is the right thing and this is the will of God, follow these things. Hallelujah. So let us pray that, oh Lord, I need the power of the Holy Spirit. I need the presence of the Holy Spirit to guide me and also to groan for me, to intercede for me when I am in weakness. When I'm in weakness, when, when sometimes when we, when we are in weakness, it says that okay, the Holy Spirit will intercede with you and it will help you when you are in weakness. I mean, and next thing we will go to the I mean next portion that is Romans chapter eight verses twenty three to twenty five. There we read about how the believers are groaning and what are the reasons that uh, the believers are groaning. We'll, we'll read that verse also maybe twenty three to twenty five. Yeah. Okay, what is that? You know, the believers are groaning today. The believers are groaning today. And not only this. Not only this means. Not only the creations. Not only the creations. Not only the Holy Spirit. But the believers also. Groaning in the presence of God. Presence of God. And we are reading that. But also we ourselves having the first fruit of the Spirit. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting eagerly for our adoption as sons, the redemption of our body. Listen, you know, it says that we are groaning in the presence of God because we already experienced the first fruit of the Spirit. Okay? We experienced 
the first fruit of the spirit endana avada paranjirikkunnathu amen nammale ippo grow cheyyunnathu nyarangunnathu aathma avanna aadhya daanil lebichirikkunna nammale innu nammade sharirathinte veendeduppinai putrathathine vendi kaathukonde ullil nyarangugeyana is in very carefully in that particular verse in verse 23 it says that we have already experienced the first fruit of the spirit what is that eh? we already experienced the first fruit of the spirit it is written there that means we already tasted the blessings of heaven through the ministry of the holy spirit hmm le nammale ipo thanne endo kitti ee ee valiya oru aadhya phala namakku lebichirikkunna first fruit kitti ennu parayumba thanne orthonam kitti da eh you know we it, it says that when I mean, we are experiencing the first fruit of the spirit that means we are already tasting the blessings of heaven today through the ministry of the holy spirit that means we were not having or we were not knowing anything or you know after coming to the saving knowledge of jesus christ you know the holy spirit led us into the into the salvation we came to the saving knowledge of jesus christ we accepted jesus as a personal savior and lord then we came to know that what is going to happen in heaven now we are experiencing the same blessings which is, which is in heaven today in this earth you know we are tasting that today and we are experiencing the presence of god today and we are experiencing the blessings of heaven today only because the holy spirit was ministering unto us and telling us when this is going to happen when you are in heaven hallelujah already we are in the kingdom of god already we are in the kingdom of god that's the reason even though we are going through the suffering we understand we are enjoying in the presence of god we are overcoming all the suffering throughout this world and we are saying i mean the same thing is going to happen in heaven richly men we are having the joy today we have we are having the presence of god directly i mean face to face after seeing jesus christ we will enjoy in the presence of god in heaven one day that's the reason it says that you know in, in even in numbers chapter 13 verse 23 to 27 if you read that portion we understand the israel people they tasted the first fruit of the canaan when the spies were returning back from uh, after spying you know when the people of god you know that the spies went to 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 search about the, the the canaan and they went to i mean spy the canaan the city of canaan and after coming uh, uh, when they were coming back from there they they brought some fruits also alle indre mundri kalagal okke kondanditte ivarku koduthu israel ibada thamasikkina ee janathile koduthu appo avar endu edu bhayangara sandoshathode varju three nalla fruits aano canaan ullathu na appo njangakku avade പോണം ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് എങ്ങനെയല്ല അവിടെ നിന്ന് പോകണം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ അവരെ സന്തോഷത്തോടെ ഇരിക്കുക വൈ മെൻ ദേ ഓൾറെഡി ടേസ്റ്റഡ് ദ ടേസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഫ്രൂട്ട് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഇൻ കെനാൻ യു നോ ദ സ്പൈസ് ബ്രോട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ടു ടു ദീസ് പീപ്പിൾ ആൻഡ് ദേ വർ എൻജോയിങ് ദാറ്റ് ദേ വർ ടേസ്റ്റിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദേ ആർ സെയിങ് ഇഫ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദിസ് മച്ച് മാൻ വെൻ വി ഷുഡ് ബി ദേർ ഇൻ കെനാൻ ആൻഡ് വി വിൽ സീ ദ ഫുൾ ഗ്ലോറി ദ ഫുൾ മെൻ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഗ്ലോറി ഇൻ ഹെവൻ hallelujah so this morning let me tell you one thing even though the people of god even though we are going through the struggles in our lives hallelujah we are going to enjoy the presence of god in heaven amen now at present we are tasting the presence of god we are tasting the glory of god we are tasting the joy of the lord and we are tasting the righteousness of god we are tasting the peace of god in this world itself and we will see the fullness of glory in heaven the fullness of glory in heaven that's the reason i told you that the groaning that which we have today will lead us into the glory in future hallelujah in future hallelujah and when you read uh, verse 23 it says that we are waiting eagerly for our adoption as sons nammada putrathathinte ah putrathathinte veendedupinu vendi nammal endu cheyunu okay what is the meaning of that we are waiting for the അവർ അഡോപ്ഷൻ അന്നാണോ നമ്മുടെ തത്വപ്പ് നടക്കാൻ പോന്നേ അന്നാണോ നമ്മളെ അഡോപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്ന കർത്താവ് നോ യു ആർ ഓൾറെഡി അഡോപ്റ്റഡ് ആ സൺസ് ആൻഡ് ഡോട്ടേഴ്സ് യു ആർ ഓൾറെഡി അഡോപ്റ്റഡ് 
And what is the meaning of that? Eh? The adoption is already done. Then why still we are waiting? There is a reason for that. Because it is talking about the redemption of a body. Let's read Philippians chapter 3 verses 20 and 21. Philippians chapter 3 verse 21, 20 and 21. Quickly, quickly. Oh, but our citizenship is in heaven. Oh, we are eagerly waiting for a savior from there. You understand the savior already came here, right? Savior Jesus Christ already came here and he saved and he died for the people and he already saved the people and still we are waiting for a Jesus Christ who is a savior to save the people. Do you believe that? When Jesus is coming in the cloud, there are many people to receive Jesus on that second, on that moment. Do you believe that? No, nobody is going to receive Jesus on that moment because nobody will know that Jesus is come. Okay? And we, we will not see that okay, the people at that moment receiving Jesus, now they can receive Jesus. Then why Jesus is coming again as a savior? The savior of a body because we know that it is written very clearly there that our, uh, our our body is not not a transformed yet right you know our spirit is transformed and we are seated in the in the heavenly places not physically spiritually but today we are waiting for the transformation of our body and in second Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16 to 18 we are reading there and during the time of the rapture of the church hallelujah I mean our body will be transformed and we will fly away from this world Hallelujah. Are you happy about that? When think about when what is going to happen at the right time when we are hearing the trumpet of uh, the sound of Jesus Christ and the, and the, the, the angel. I mean we will see that uh, our body will be transformed. Today our spirit is transformed and we got the salvation of our spirit. But now, now, now we are waiting for God's appearance. In clouds hallelujah we are waiting for the for the appearance of jesus christ and we will see that i mean the the temporary all the sufferings are gone and we will be there i mean we'll be one day there in the eternal i mean glory and finally we will read a few more verses and we'll close today's message today i mean second peter chapter 3 verses 7 to 13 yeah it is there second peter chapter 3 verses 7 verses 7 to 13 i'll read it for you very clearly listen to that screen that you know it is very clearly saying that where we are going after this groaning hmm? where we are growing and what is the speciality that God has given us I mean, in glory in glory I mean, what is that it is very clearly says that verse 7 but by his word the present heavens and earth are being reserved for fire kept for the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men but do not let this one fact escape your notice. Beloved, that with the Lord, I mean, one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise as some count slowness, but it is patient toward you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief in which the heavens will pass away. With a roar and elements will be destroyed with intense heat and the earth and its works will be burned up since all these things are to be destroyed in this way. What sort of people ought you to be holy conduct and godliness looking for and hastening the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, because of which the heavens will be destroyed and by burning and the elements will be melted with the intent heat. But according to his promise, we are looking for new heavens and new earth in which righteousness dwells forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not looking forward for this present earth or present heavens. Heavens means the sky. There are different, maybe three, 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 I mean, levels of the heavens, the sky and all those things. Amen. So we are going to not going to see that uh, what is going to happen here, but we are going to see the glorious appearance of Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. Everything that we see in this world will be, I mean, get away. And this all will be decayed. And this all will be corrupted. But we understand when I mean, we will see Jesus Christ who doesn't have any corruption. Hallelujah. And after the coming of Jesus Christ, our body, there is no body. I mean, we will be transformed and we will be seeing Jesus in, 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 in the, in, in the mid-air and he will, we will be with him I mean, forever and ever. So let's pray, I mean, pray and let's I mean, submit ourselves with the mighty hand of God. I mean, once again, I mean, let me encourage you that I mean, I mean, whatever we are going through this situation, the sufferings that we are going through today, hallelujah, everything will be getting over and we will be in glory. Even though I mean, we are going through the suffering in this world. Hallelujah. The Bible very clearly says that when all these things will pass away, all these things will pass away. But my word, the word of God will never pass away. It's all Ningi Pogatadana. In the Kim Sorgatil Stinamaki Vachirikina, a Kartavan de Vadatil Paranikina Kairingal, with a Sambo Chundrikim ball, Namakatraver Kartavan de Varimudi Katrika Namakasadikim. Even though we are groaning in this world, even though the all creations are groaning in this world, even though the Holy Spirit is groaning for the believers, I mean, for the, for the rapture of the church, hallelujah, how many of you are ready? And, and preparing yourself for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If today the Lord Jesus is coming to returning, I mean, how many of you are ready for that? How many of you are ready? How many of you are getting ready? And how many of you are praying? Oh Lord, I need to know what is the will of God about me, O oh Father. I mean, let us pray. Oh Lord, help me, O oh God. And also Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, I mean, I mean, send the Holy Spirit upon me so that uh, the Holy Spirit will guide me. I mean, I mean, to, to, to convict me about the sin, about the righteousness, about the judgment. And I will be standing with the Lord forever and ever. Hallelujah. 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 I mean, if you want to stay with, uh, I mean, uh, with, with God. Hallelujah. I mean, if you stand with uh, the, the party. I mean, there are many parties in this world. There are many group of people in this world. There are many wicked people in this world. But you and me are not the part of that wicked people. But you and me are the part of God. The heavenly God who is living forever and ever. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us pray for that. Let us submit us with the mighty hand of God. And let us pray together for a blessing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. I mean, I would request uh, I mean, uh, Sister Amy George uh, to lead us in prayer now. I mean, uh, just meditating the word of God this morning time.